More than 120 million hryvna is almost 3,250,000 US dollars, was collected for the creation of the world's first naval drone fleet as of November 12. This was reported by the Minister of Digital Transformation of Ukraine on Telegram. This is a unique and classified Ukrainian technology. It includes a drone equipped with an autopilot system video subsystems, including night vision, special communications, protected from the effects of enemy electronic warfare, backup communication modules and a combat unit, as well as an autonomous ground control station, a transportation and storage system, a data processing center and a few special surprises for our enemies. Mikhailo Fedorov, Deputy Prime Minister of Ukraine, Minister of Digital Transformation of Ukraine, on Telegram. Anyone can donate money for a unique Ukrainian development on the website of the fundraising platform United24. The drone is five and a half meters long, has a range of up to 800 kilometers and a maximum speed of 80 kilometers per hour. It is a small vessel, ruthlessly speaking a large canoe with an explosive device in the bow and two contact detonators. In fact, it is a contact detonator from a 250kg air bomb. The biggest difficulty between sea drones and air drones is precisely in control, because aerial drones are high up and it is easy enough to keep radio contact with them, while naval drones move either on the surface of the water or submerge of underwater. This is where the tricky part was how to control them our long distances. According to the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, from the beginning of the full-scale invasion to November 11, the Russian naval forces lost 16 warships, including the sunken flagship cruiser Moskva and the damaged frigate Admiral Makarov. Naval weapons experts say that the Russian Black Sea fleet now does not go to sea. Both Admiral Grigorovich class frigates are in the bay. After the first successful use of the Neptune and Harpoon cruise missiles, even the flagship of the Black Sea Fleet went down. The enemy was forced to pack up and retreat under the cover of the Crimean Peninsula, under the cover of the air defense, and after the use of sea drones he has to retreat even further. Experts believe that the safety of the sea area is one of the key tasks for Ukraine, because the Ukrainian Navy lost up to 80% of its ships as a result of the occupation of Crimea. An army of drones will help the armed forces to protect the coast from the enemy. Our coast is our front door. The first thing he will block is that he will not allow the economy to develop. He will just start taking over the territories. He cannot take over the territories of Ukraine by entering through the Atlantic Ocean, no. He will go through the northwest part of the Black Sea. What happened to Ukraine now in February of this year is a classic. First, they blocked all of our ports. They stopped all of our economy. They severed all of our ties at that time economically with our partners. Every fifth rocket is fired by the Russian army from the sea against peaceful Ukrainian cities. Since the ships stopped leaving the base, the shelling of the Black Sea coast has significantly decreased. They are cowardly. Our guys did a good job. And thank God, General Zaluzhny and our armed forces all, they did a great job. And the only thing that hurts my soul is that we are paying for it in blood. They are all hiding in Sevastopol Bay because they are afraid, because soon there will be nothing to attack us with. Naval drones are already in service in a number of countries. The main task of most of them is reconnaissance. The functionality of Ukrainian drones is much broader. At the same time, they are relatively inexpensive, reported by Serhii Kulas, Lorisa Zubenko, UATV News.